Good morning, New Albany Floyd County students. Today we are going to put a fun spin on an artist named Piet Mondrian. He did um, studied bold colors, primarily primary colors, red, yellow, and blue. He did do some secondary colors, which are your purple, orange, and green. And he did bold black lines. So to create this Piet Mondrian masterpiece, you're going to need just a few things that you can find around your house. You're going to need paint. You're going to need your red, yellow, and blue paint and your black paint. If you don't have paint, I'm going to show you how to make a Piet Mondrian without paint. Some type of paper. I like this thicker, heavier paper. You can use notebook paper. You can use anything. Um, I've got several different tools. Um, any of these are going to be fine. Really, whatever you can find that has like a flat edge or a smooth surface. This is something you icing a cake with. This is a little Play-Doh tool. Um, I have a plastic knife. And then I also found this paint or a putty knife. Um, ask your parents. They probably have a putty knife somewhere around their house. So either one of these will be fine. You're also going to need a Hot Wheel. Um, the Hot Wheels that set up higher off the paper are going to be the better type of Hot Wheel. I also have a set of Lego wheels, so either one of those will be fine. All right, to get started, you're just going to add a drop of paint. Maybe. I'm going to have to open this up because it looks like it's clogged. So I'm just going to add a drop of blue paint here. And I'm going to take just a plastic knife and I'm just going to spread this blue paint into like a rectangle. So I'm going to spread it up and then I'm going to bring it down and it's going to be a nice blue smooth rectangle. Just spread that paint out. You don't want it too thick so keep spreading. When you're finished you want to reuse your knife just wipe the blue paint off and you can reuse it then you're gonna take your next color I'm gonna use red and I'm gonna put red right over here you're just gonna drop it right on your paper I'm gonna try this putty knife and see what it does I'm gonna make a red square right here this putty knife is pretty nice now that I have my red square, I'm going to wipe this off. A paper towel fell. I'm going to set that aside. I need one more color, my yellow. I'm going to do a yellow rectangle right down here at the bottom. I'm going to spin my paper around so it's kind of easier to spread. Put a drop of yellow paint right there. I'm going to use this little cool Play-Doh tool and see how this works. But I'm going to make a long rectangle going straight across. And if you get to where you need to add more paint, you can just put another drop of paint on there. This is a really long rectangle. Look how pretty that is. That paint just slides right over. All right, I'm just going to wipe that off and set that aside. Now I'm ready for my black lines. This is the best part. You're going to have some black paint on a flat paper plate, styrofoam plate, and you're just going to take your Hot Wheel and you're going to kind of run it through the paint a couple of times. You can kind of get all the excess paint off if you have too much by running it on your tray really quick. And you're just going to add your black lines wherever you want to. So maybe I'm going to put some black lines right here, right across that yellow. Then I'm going to load it back up again with more paint and I'm going to have my black lines go right across here. Kind of ran out of paint so I can go back over them. Just line it back up. Go right back over. Your Hot Wheel will wash so um, no worries about that. Let's try these Lego wheels. So I'm going to load them up again. Just kind of roll the Lego wheels in the paint. Kind of get some of the excess paint off. 
and I'm just gonna roll some black lines right through here. Voila, easy peasy, beautiful Piet Mondrian piece of art. Now, if you don't have paint, no worries. You can still create a beautiful piece of Piet Mondrian. I actually have some construction paper, so you'll need colored construction paper. If you don't have colored construction paper, you can take white paper and you can draw or color your squares or your rectangles. I did not have any yellow. I only had the red and the blue. So I'm just going to take and I'm going to cut a long red rectangle. And I think I'm going to cut a red square out of this corner. So I have a red square and a red rectangle. Now I'm going to move on to my blue. This time I'm going to make just a little bit bigger square. Out of the blue. And a long skinny rectangle. And because blue is one of my favorite colors, I'm going to add a smaller little square. You can use as many squares and rectangles as you want. Um, stick with your primary colors or your secondary colors. I've got three blue and two red. So now I'm just going to take my glue stick. I'm going to put some glue on here. And I'm just going to start sticking them down. So that square is going to go there. Maybe this rectangle is going to go down here. I'm going to put this long blue rectangle right here. My rectangles are not perfect. If you want them to be more perfect, you can always use a ruler to help you draw your straight lines so that you get perfect squares and perfect rectangles. And last but not least, this little baby blue square. And I'm going to put it right down here. Now, if you don't have paint, no worries. You can draw your black lines, like I said, with a ruler or freehand with a Sharpie. So maybe I'm going to have a black line that goes like this. And I have a black line that comes down and goes up. So you can use lots of different things to create your very own Piet Mondrian paper. Paint, construction paper, markers. You're just using the primary colors, red, yellow, and blue, or your secondary colors, orange, purple, and green. Black marker, black crayons. You can do this super easy. It's lots of fun. I really think the paint and the Hot Wheels, that's my all-time favorite. Go find some stuff. Make some art. Have a great day, boys and girls.